Okay, so I'm now at my favorite restaurant, McDonald's, and I'm using the Marshall Motive 2 ANC. Let's check out its microphone quality in this particular situation, okay? Switching to the Marshall Motive 2 ANC in 3, 2, 1. And this is the mic pickup quality of the Marshall Motive 2 ANC. Right here in my favorite restaurant, McDonald's. Having the best burgers in the world. Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Marshall Motive 2 a and C. When I covered the first version a few years back, it definitely made a statement. Now, what I really liked about this design is its ruggedness. The case's vinyl texture means you don't have to be so gentle with it. You can go ahead and put it in your pocket with your keys and coins. The earbuds also fit much better than the AirPods Pro 2. They've got a grippy, non-slip surface as opposed to the AirPods Pro 2's glossy shell. And this time, it's got improved battery. Rated the same as the AirPods Pro 2, it also supports multi-point pairing, and of course, you also get app support on both Android and iOS devices, which not only provides firmware updates, it also provides a greater level of control, such as adjusting noise cancelling, transparency, customizing its sound manually, or with EQ presets. And there's even something that we don't see every day, and that is a battery preservation mode. The rechargeable batteries in TWS Buds have a lifespan, and there are several factors that determine how long these batteries last. If you're concerned about preserving your battery, this lets you put limiters in place to prolong your battery's lifespan. This is not something you see every day with other TWS earbuds. The temperature limit setting is quite interesting, because how would they know not to charge when it's hot, right? Except if there's some sort of sensor inside. But how does the new Motive 2 ANC actually perform in terms of sound, noise cancelling, and call quality? benchmarked against the AirPods Pro 2 USB Type-C version. We're going to find out in this video, and we're also going to talk about some pros and cons at the end, so stick around for that. And as usual, click on the links below to check the latest prices of these earbuds, and if you want to see more reviews like this one, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Now we're going to test its mic pickup in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe style background noise and some wind noise from this fan. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Marshall Motive 2 ANC. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the USB Type-C AirPods Pro 2 I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Marshall Motive 2 ANC. The quick brown fox jumps over the raging door. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the USB Type-C AirPods Pro 2 running firmware 6A300. The AirPods Pro 2 USB Type-C version definitely has the cleaner mic here, but it is one of the best right now compared to many other earbuds. The Marshall Motive 2 ANC's mic pickup in quiet situations is quite good, clear and crisp. In challenging scenarios, however, it doesn't filter noise from my voice very well. In fact, this is somewhat similar to what we see on the Sony WF-1000XM4 and XM5 earbuds mic pickup. Of course, do bear in mind that the noise levels that I test these mics here is often louder than most situations. More realistically, in crowded restaurants, for example like McDonald's like you saw earlier in the video, it's gonna perform okay. Now we're gonna compare their active noise cancelling using the same background noise as before.
its active noise cancelling does work. I mean, you can definitely tell that it's working, and when I'm using this in the real world, it could also bring down noise levels pretty effectively. But there is still quite a bit of noise getting through, especially in terms of human voices. And I've had to raise the volume riding in the train or in other situations to be able to hear my audio well. So it's effective, but it isn't extremely effective. I mean, it's definitely not going to cancel as much noise as, say, the AirPods Pro 2. If you like to compare their active noise cancelling and call quality to other earbuds, do become a member for $1 per month or more. This gives you full access to my personal comparison tool, which you can use to compare earbuds A to B at your own time and at your own pace. Many people have joined up, especially people who can't simply visit a store anytime to compare earbuds. They know that this is going to save them so much time being able to just cut through all the marketing and compare these earbuds remotely without visiting a store. So become a member like them, click on the link below to find out more. In terms of transparency, it feels pretty mild. So in a sense, it sounds very natural. That being said, it does have an occlusion effect, so it doesn't feel very transparent. But like most TWS buds with transparency modes, it's good enough for general awareness. And it is possible to wear the Motive 2 ANC and still have conversations with people around you. Although I don't usually talk to random people around me because Singaporeans generally keep to themselves. In terms of sound quality, if you were expecting something close to what Marshall is generally known for, which is growling bass and heavy mids, this isn't. It's tuned in a way that there's a lot more emphasis on the upper mids and treble. Here's what it sounds like compared to the AirPods Pro 2 USB Type-C version. Now guys, if you want to compare their sound quality to earbuds from other brands, visit loudandwireless.com's sound samples page, link in the description. What I do like about its sound is it's quite clean and intimate, which lends itself very well to faster types of music, like deep house, or rock music, or even trance. Compared to the AirPods Pro 2, the AirPods Pro 2 sounds heavier for sure, bass is also fuller, and it sounds slightly more detailed in the mid-range. But it doesn't allow you to tune its sound like the Marshalls. With the Marshall Bluetooth app, I could manually make the Marshalls sound closer to what I want. So I bumped up the bass, pulled down the mids a bit, and now it sounds closer to that iconic Marshall sound that I'm looking for. And you can also do this on both iOS and Android devices. Okay, now let's talk about pros and cons. The first thing that appeals to me about the Motive 2 ANC is its fit. It doesn't plug in all the way, just like your typical stem type earbud, but it grips a lot better compared to the AirPods Pro 2. You could actually work out with these earbuds without worrying about them falling out, which is a major benefit. It's also rugged, even the case is water and dust resistant, and you do get all of the features on both Android and iOS devices, features that you paid for, unlike the AirPods, with an app that is both polished and intuitive. On top of that, these earbuds are stylishly martial. Now, that being said, I do hope to see some improvement, whether through software updates or through the next version of the Motif 2 ANC. Improvements to its ANC because that reduces the need to jack up the volume in noisy places in the first place. And also, I want to be able to customize its controls more. Right now, it only lets me set what the long press gesture does. On the one hand, this gets the buds to mirror each other in terms of 
ANC toggle, playback, and call controls. So you can use either the left or the right earbud, and it will work the same. The problem is, since the long press gesture is shared between ANC toggles or volume options, you can't have both volume and ANC toggles on one earbud. Furthermore, if you do choose volume controls on the long press gesture, it's only volume up or down. Now, I would happily replace skip controls with volume Spotify tap 2 since that would solve the problem because I don't often use those controls from the earbuds in the first place. But it's not possible at this moment to do this. Another thing is latency. Now, I know I barely talk about latency now because on all the earbuds I've tested recently, I've not encountered any issues watching videos on any devices. Even when working on my video editing software on my PC, it compensates for that. For gaming, that's a different story because of how Bluetooth works. Because of how Bluetooth works, you'll always get a tiny bit of lag, but it's so small that it's not going to throw you off when you're slaying monsters. On the Marshalls though, you do get a bit more lag than your average earbuds, especially noticeable on PC. I reckon about 300 milliseconds or so of lag. And when you're gaming on PC, it could be as high as 500 milliseconds. That's about half a second of lag. That's very noticeable. And it's something worth bringing up so that if Marshall is perhaps watching this video, they become aware of it and maybe can address it through a future software update. But if those aren't major factors for you and you do want a stylish alternative to the AirPods Pro 2 that fits a lot better. The Marshall Motive 2 ANC is one option. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you want to see more comparisons like this one to the Motive 2 ANC. And get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified of new content. I'm also on Twitter where I tweet about random stuff, so do follow me there. And by the way, Marshall does make fantastic portable speakers. So click here to watch my Marshall Middleton review. It's probably my favorite Marshall product at this moment.